tell me what to say. I can't tell you everything. But you will always be right if you are kind to people. Say things that will please them. Then they'll like you. Laugh a lot and try to make them laugh too. And if everyone stops talking, say something to make them talk again. They don't want to sit here and look at the floor without speaking. Think of something to say. I can do that. There's always something to say. Must I do anything else? When they're ready to leave, don't jump out of your chair and look gladly at the door. You must look sorry when they want to leave. What shall I do when they want to go? Ask them to stay a little longer. Just say, must you go? Can't you stay? Or something like that. You like them and you want them to stay. And you must let them understand that. That's not very hard, is it? I'll remember that. Must you go? Can't you stay? Must you go? Can't you stay? That's right. Now take that coat to your room and change into a clean dress. You must look nice when they come. And if everyone stops talking, say something kind to make them talk again. And don't say anything that will make them angry. I'll remember. I've often done harder things than this. The same room, one hour later. Mrs. Harding and Mrs. Lee are sitting in the room with Mary and her mother. So you like Lanfield, Mrs. Harding. I'm very glad. Yes, we like it very much. It's not the same as London, but there are some very nice people here. And we found a good house. No one says anything anymore. And Mrs. Shaw looks at Mary. What beautiful children you have, Mrs. Harding. I've often seen them walking along the road. Oh, I haven't any children. Oh, yes, you have. I've seen them. A little boy and a little girl. I have no children, believe me. Oh, they must be someone else's children. Have you met Mr. Best? He's a nice man. He lives near you. Oh, Mr. Best. He lives here and he works in London. He goes all the way to London by train every morning and then he comes all the way back by train every night. He lives in trains. <laughs> what kind of life is that? Why do people do things like that? They don't know how to live. And he reads two newspapers in the train every day. He never reads a book. But he's only a banker. And bankers can't think. My brother's a banker. He goes to London by train every morning and comes back every night. He reads two newspapers in the train in the morning and another every night. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Bankers always have to read a lot of newspapers. Do you know Mrs. Best? She's a nice woman. I like her. But have you seen her clothes? She goes out in a blue dress with a red coat over it. <laughs> I have a blue dress and I often put it on my red coat at the same time. I like blue dresses and red coats. I saw Mrs. Cotter this afternoon. I met her in the street. No one ever sees her in the morning because she always stays in bed then. And she's always asking the doctor to come and see her. I can't understand women who stay in bed in the morning. And why must she always ask for the doctor? I've never been to a doctor in my life. I stay in bed in the morning myself. I often go to the doctor. Oh. I'm sorry. Do you know Mrs. Grantly? She's one of my best friends. But she's so fat. Fat women aren't very beautiful, are they? <laughs> my mother's a very fat woman. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Oh, 
There's that dog again. It always looks very dirty. I don't like dogs. Do you? That dog's always near our house. Why do people keep dogs? Who wants a dog? And why doesn't its owner keep it clean? Have you seen it? Yes, I've seen it. That's Towser. It's our dog. Oh, I didn't know. There's Mr. Pomeroy on his horse. He's always talking about horses. He rides a horse every day and he shoots birds. It isn't right. Why must the poor birds die? What have they done to Mr. Pomeroy? And why do some men like horses more than they like people? It's hard to understand men. My brother shoots birds when he has the time. And he rides his horse when he can. He sold his house in London and bought a house here because he wanted to ride and shoot. It's getting a little late. We must go now, Mrs. Shaw. It has been very nice to have a little talk. Very nice. It was very good of you to come to see us.